or that many have active liquid cooling that pampers the battery? Now let's talk about batteries. We've used them in devices for decades, from the tiny watch ones to the double A's that are nearly ubiquitous, up to the large lead acid ones that crank over the engine in every gasoline car. Most recently, the tech boom of lithium type batteries has allowed laptops, cell phones, and other mobile devices to become light, affordable, and provide many hours of use per charge. So we may think we know what we need to know about batteries, such as they have a finite, perhaps even short longevity, right? Well, that brings us to electric car myth number two. After just a few years, you'll have to replace that expensive electric car battery, costing thousands and thousands of dollars. All the money you saved on fuel and maintenance will be canceled out. Not so fast. The quick way to dismiss this notion is the fact that every electric car battery carries a replacement warranty of eight years or 100,000 miles. And that's extended to 10 years or 150,000 miles in some states. And several brands of electrics are proving that they in fact perform very well beyond the warranty period without any sign of an impending battery failure. And so our experience with early types of batteries don't necessarily apply when we're talking about automotive lithium ion batteries, the type that are being used in today's electric cars. These batteries are carefully engineered for purpose and their charging and discharging systems manage the power in ways that small devices typically don't. A few notable high mileage EVs include Wizzy, the electric taxi in the UK, which is a 2011 Nissan Leaf. When it reached 100,000 miles, it still had 98% of its original battery capacity. In 2016, it passed 150,000 miles, still going strong on the original battery and the original brake pads. And a Chevy Volt named Sparky in Ohio now has over 385,000 miles as of June 2017, with 135,000 of those miles uh, from battery alone. Sparky still has the same EV range and performance it did when new zero detectable battery loss. But let's say after 10 or more years, you did somehow need a replacement battery out of warranty. Well, a Leaf battery is only around $5,500 and a Volt's around $3,000. That's far less than the amount of money one would have saved on fuel and maintenance over 10 years. And remember, just because something's out of warranty or no longer working at 100%, just like new, that doesn't mean it needs to be replaced right away. There's one other thing we mentioned in the intro that many EVs have that has proven to make a significant difference in extreme battery longevity, liquid cooling. Why does this matter? Well, because much like a gas car's engine doesn't like to get overheated and can become damaged by the heat, a lithium battery also dislikes excessive heat. In fact, temperatures over 120 degrees Fahrenheit can prematurely and permanently damage or degrade lithium cells especially during charging and driving. That's because that's when those precious little lithium ions are floating back and forth between the two parts of the battery they use as little safe houses and could get zapped into uselessness by the heat. But actively liquid cooled batteries like those in GM, BMW and Tesla electric cars are never allowed to get much warmer than say a San Francisco summer day. And they also warm the battery in winter for better range and performance. So even when it's cold outside, these batteries stay warm and cozy inside. A warm battery is a happy battery. So what if the electric car you already have or want to get doesn't offer this active liquid cooling? You can still help ensure a long battery life by following a few basic best practices. Number one, keep an eye on your battery's temperature. Some vehicles, like the Nissan Leaf, have a temperature gauge with bars or numbers. Park in a garage or shady spot when possible, and especially avoid charging if you're in the red zone. Number two, avoid charging your car to 100% all the time. This is not an issue for most plug-in hybrid electrics, as most of those only charge up to 85% or 90% anyhow to preserve longevity. But in a BEV, charging up to only 90% for daily use has shown to greatly extend battery longevity. And this is especially true if it's a hot climate and your car doesn't have that liquid cooling. Number three, don't drive like a jack wagon. Always accelerating hard and excessive hard braking not only ruins your efficiency, it puts more heat stress on the battery. 
The liquid-cooled batteries can suck it up, but passively managed ones may struggle to keep cool. This doesn't mean you can't have a little fun. Just keep an eye on that temperature gauge. And finally, this applies to almost any plug-in electric if you are just wanting to dip your toes in electric life and, and don't do a ton of driving. Consider leasing your first plug-in rather than buying. Try out a brand and model that interests you most and see if its performance, range, battery longevity, and other features maybe exceed your expectations. I'm Mark Renberg, the electric car guy. Live acoustic and drive electric.